Yo, all right, here we go. We got another one. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit it down if you want. If you don't like it, whatever. Um, Amber Geiger, that was the, the white woman, uh, the Caucasian woman in Dallas that shot this man, uh, Bodem, Bodem Sean. I, I don't want to, you know, butcher his name. Uh, but she shot him. She walked into her, what she thought was her apartment. Bullshit excuse. Uh, she was still in uniform, and she shot the man while he was eating a bowl of ice cream. And, uh, and it, you know, this was the, you had Tammy the Mammy the judge, and uh, at the end of the, the whole, it was it, it was all messy. And it was like, black people, I don't know if it's Christianity, this whole forgive and forget thing, but when you do this, you open up doors for stuff. Now this woman's trying to get an appeal. Uh, I remember being pissed off because the judge was consoling her. I don't see black judges console niggas in court, never. You know what I mean? They were stroking her hair everything they 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 this is this the epitome of what america has always been about when it comes to white women on the top of the hierarchy uh they can cry and, and oh I, i'm scared and all this and everyone just feels sorry for i love horror movies but am i in every horror movie it's the same demographic it's a big bad scary gangster killer and he's chasing after the little lily white female and at the end of the day i don't care how bad he is she finds a way to you know it come over adversity. It's just something about a, a skinny, pretty white female running around a damsel in distress that just gets people. Um, and that, and his brother said, and I quote at the end of that, you know, during in court, he had hugged her. Remember, he gave her that big hug. And I was like, what the fuck? And he says, I love you just like anyone else. I'm not going to hope you rot and die. I personally want the best for you. I wasn't going to say this in front of my family. I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you because I know that's exactly what my brother would want for you. Give your life to Christ. I would think I think giving your life to Christ is the best thing my brother would want for you. Y'all got to stop. And I'm not telling nobody what to do as far as your religion, but all of this forgive and forget this Christianity is 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 Black people, we are so soft. It's not even funny. Now, this woman is uh, at a Texas appeals court is mulling together rather to throw out the murder conviction that she had from 2018. You know, and her attorney, uh, she's serving the 10 year sentence. She wasn't going to do the entire 10 years anyway. We already know that. She's only done like two of them. Uh, but there, she's trying to appeal this. And, you know, they go on and say, I, I agree. She did intentionally shoot Mr. Uh, shoot this man because that was her intent that's that was the truth the people that are against her and um she goes on and says her client the people who's representing her uh my client according to the facts had a reasonable apprehension of danger when she walked into that what she thought was her apartment how do you walk into the wrong apartment i don't i've been tired plenty of times and i i always make sure i walk to the right door um if we agree that she walked into her apartment then the mistake of the fact applies and then the question is, was her belief, was her apparition of danger re reasonable? Just because of her alleged mistake and belief about which she doesn't negate her intent to kill, we wouldn't be talking about this had she walked into her own apartment. Bullshit excuses, man. I, 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 I remember when this story broke, I said, that got to be the weakest excuse. You walked into the wrong apartment? Really? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not trying to hear that. And I'm sorry. I can't with all of this forgive and forget. Oh, we got to let go. Oh, we got to let Oh, God take care of it. Oh, we just going to pray about it and all that. Man, stop it. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But this, like I say, if it wasn't for the way her brother, this man's brother, consoled this woman and had that speech, I don't know if this appeal holds any weight. You know, but the appeal holds some kind of weight now. When the, the, the family is like, yeah, we, you know, and it really wasn't the whole representation of the family. Um, it was just him, you know, because the family issued a statement and they was like, uh, we oppose Amber Geiger's appeal and her attempt to get a reduced sentence. When Amber Geiger was sentenced, our family found a, a measure of justice and peace. Her actions were clearly criminal. She saw a black man and shot without reason and justification, murdering him in his own home. The jury delivered a thoughtful and just a good verdict that should not be overturned. So that's the statement from the family. But like I say, his at, at, at 22 years old at the time, his younger brother opened up the doors for this when he, you know, gave her that hug and that long speech. I forgive you. Uh, oh, stop. I mean, the cooning is, is, is beyond me. 
you know, and of course, you know, her, she's got to always play this, oh, I was scared to death, you know, she said she was scared to death, her heart was just skyrocketing, you know, just ridiculous, I'm so sorry, I never wanted to take an innocent person's life, I wish he was the one with the gun that killed me, uh, reverse psychology, you see that, I wish he was the one with the gun that killed me, reverse, they need to have me as a fucking judge, I'm giving everybody the chair, Whoever you killed, however old that person was, that's how many years you doing. He was 22, you get 22 years. Period. And I bet you your ass will fucking, you would walk into the right apartment from now on. You know, but like I say, this, this, is, this is America, man. <laughs> no child is Gambino. Although this lily white female, she wants forgiveness. And like I say, this appeal, the audacity for her to even ask for an appeal is, is, is beyond me. But um, I, the door was open once that boy put out that bullshit message. I forgive you, and I, oh, God would want it. My brother would want it. Oh, stop it, man. Oh, this, <laughs> this, this is ridiculous, bro. Let me know what y'all think of the conversation. Should Emma Geiger get her uh, murder conviction tossed out? <laughs>